All right, today Chad and I are gonna be checking out this beautiful 1966 factory Ember Glow Mustang Fastback. Um, and it has been a while since we had a Mustang Fastback of late. You know, there's not many on the market and they've really shot up in value in the last couple years. They did, I mean, their Mustang Fastback from 65 to 1970 are freaking gold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are. And speaking of gold, this one is gold, really gold. Um, and what an awesome color this is. Uh, special order Ember Glow in 1966. Uh, V-code color and uh, just the metallics on it are absolutely breathtaking. As we go around this car, just a quick little um, exterior tour on it. If you look at the metallics on it in the sun, you really have to see it in person to uh, understand the quality of the paint job on this car. And it is absolutely laser straight, show quality from bumper to bumper. And with this Ember Glow paint, comes with the parchment interior. Um, it does have the pony interior, deluxe door handles, rally pack, factory full console. I mean, this car's got a ton of nice options. As we go underneath the hood, it's got power steering, Willwood front disc brakes on it, aluminum radiator, and uh, it's got the factory tag and stuff on here, 1966, 289. Look how smooth that thing runs too. It's just beautiful. It does have the factory tranny in it as well, as far as the 66 289 on that as well. It's got the factory tag there. And uh, bottom of the hood paint is just as nice as the rest of the car. The only original paint I really seen on this car at all is on the bottom of the trunk floor. And we'll get to that in just a little bit here. Another thing with this car is the gaps are fantastic. No matter where you look, um, the fit and finishes. Very yeah, if you're looking for just a, a super nice, legit 1966 Fastback, this is the one, you guys. You don't see too many of them in the Ember Glow. And like Dalton pointed out, the gaps are awesome on this car. As you go all the way around, the top of the door here matches the top of the cowl perfectly. Back edge of the hood. The top of the fenders and the top of the car just looks like glass. Yeah, it does. All new bumpers, all new chrome, horse and corral during the restoration. Dual exhaust sounds nice. Um, as we come to the back of this Fastback, it does appear to have the original tail light lenses and tail light chrome on it, but a new back bumper. The back valance fits beautifully. Nice chrome tips on the dual exhaust. If you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, you're gonna see uh, pictures of the undercarriage on there. Very, very solid original undercarriage. It has been undercoated years ago, but very, very solid. The back glass really is original, but it's nice and clear. It does have the factory fold down rear seat, and you can see there the top of the fold down rear seat still has the original carpet on it. The back uh, door panels and the back air dams back there are all in great shape. The paint's nice there as well. Here's what you're talking about in the trunk being original paint. <laughs> That's pretty damn cool to see. You don't see that too often. Original quarters. And sticker on there too, yep. Um, they did go ahead and jam it professionally, except for the trunk floor, they left that original, but the rest of the, the bottom of the trunk lids got a new jacking instructions in it, new rubbers, and uh, just absolutely breathtaking paint job on this car. The only thing I noticed when I bought it, it's got a couple tiny little, two tiny little chips right here on the front um, headlight eyebrow. Other than that, the front clip is just gorgeous on it. And I'm so glad they didn't do a color change on this car. Uh -huh. Like you said, the Ember Glow is a rear color in 66. It's a great color. Yeah, it is. But it is one that you really have to see in person. You see all the metallic in it. It looks fantastic. Tires and wheels. It's got the Magnum 500s, uh, 205, 205 60 15s on the front. BFG raised white letter tires are in excellent shape. It does have the dual chrome mirrors and the chrome. Um, Wing windows here are original and they're in excellent shape. 
Let's check that out. Isn't that just a cool color? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It really changes in the sunlight. No bubbles, no blisters, no chips anywhere that I can see. Over the wheel well is perfect. I kind of contemplated uh, about putting the wheel well trim on it, but really it doesn't need it. I mean, it'd look fine with it, but it looks great without it as well. The door handles are original. If you look really close, you can see some just little stress marks in the chrome there. The new uh, roof rail rubbers are new. Door jam paint is excellent. Corner of the door is nice and solid. Uh, door panel is in great shape. Um, dash paint is nice. The horn works. Um, we'll get to it in a little bit, but the rally pack works on it as well. A beautiful new console. Um, I say new because it's just in pristine condition. Um, also, the uh, shift indicator is nice and tight, and the lenses and stuff are new in here as well, and it's got the correct slide in it. It's got the emergency flashers in there. Dash pad's in great shape. Carpet's nice. Headliner's in beautiful shape. Headliner matches really nicely to the uh, sun visors, rear view mirrors nice, dome lights work in the back. Um, it's got the uh, kind of the tan seat belts in the front, two in the front, two in the back. Um, and the uh, fold down back seat, seat backs, everything's in excellent condition as far as the interior. You're not really gonna get a door to fit any better than that, the way it shuts. Um, the bottom corner fits really nicely flush. Another thing around this back window and in the sail panels, I mean, no bubbles, no solvent pop, nothing. I mean, just yeah, almost so pristine, polished. isn't yeah. it? That driver's side door fits even better than the passenger side. If you look at the bottom, um, that factory kind of that C shape body line looks great from fender to door to quarter. Um, the back of the trunk lid fits perfectly right here. Again, like you mentioned, there's no little hairline cracks. There's just nothing to even talk about on this car. Does that work properly? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. The chrome in there is very nice all the way around. It's great. I mean, if you're looking for a show quality car, guys, this is it. I mean, this is a nice, nice yeah, car. Top of the fender, top of the door, all the way body line, lines look great. Same thing with this side, the wing windows, super clean, the mirrors are nice, got the correct gaskets on the mirrors. The door locks work? Yeah, door locks work nice. There is one tiny little chip right here on my thumb. And touched up correctly, it does have one there. Um, color is V. Trim is F4, date is 19A, DSO 74. Axle F, trans is 6. Corner of the door is perfect. Bottom of the door, door panel, deluxe handles, deluxe door panels. Really just a quality car. As far as our seats go, along the cords and edges are perfect. There's no issues there whatsoever. Door jam paint's nice. Let's get this beer. Interior lights do work when you have your door open. All your cargo lights on the yeah. back, your lights in the door panels. Yeah. Um, just another. And that's just the way that and underneath lights work. I mean, that's just the way this car came in. I mean, this car has had excellent care. Here we go. Let's see how easy she starts. And the right key. Doesn't get easier than that. No. Um, it's got 7,406 miles on the odometer. I'm guessing it's 107. Gas gauge works, oil pressure sitting here at an idle is right in the middle between middle and high. Clock works even. Clock works, tack works. Sounds good too. Um, and you guys might have... You guys might have heard this and I just noticed it now or we would have adjusted it. We have just a little bit of a lifter noise, just maybe adjustable um, lifter here, um, rocker arm, so we'll adjust that. So just a little tiny tick there. Uh, temp gauge works as well, so 
Your fan works, wipers work, one speed wipers. It's ready to go. drive this one over there. I'm thinking about it. Or the 2020 vet. It's the only we can take that. I like this one better. Could be just a little exhaust. That tip could just be just a little exhaust like too. One of the other. Yeah. Either or we'll get it looked at. Yeah. They all need a little something. Even a nice one like this. That's right. That's one thing about a classic car, guys. I mean, I don't care. This car is freaking pristine. But I don't care how nice something is. Like, I can find something wrong and drip or, you know, they're all going to drip a little bit in your garage. I mean, that's one thing at Coyote Classics. I can't ever say a car will never drip. I mean, it, they're 80 percent of them do. If they don't, when you get them, they're going to six months from now. Exactly. You're going to have some sort of a drip on an old car. Just part of owning them, unfortunately. And those Willwood disc brakes, remember when you drove this out? You barely mm -hmm. have to touch them things, they're nice. Yeah, they are. They, they don't really like nice. throw you through the windshield, but they're just very nice and responsive. Mm -hmm. Turn signal indicators work. Oops, let's go. She wants to see the car from this angle. Really shifts smooth. Yeah, it's this car is not a powerhouse, guys, but the kickdown works awesome. It drives fantastic. Right up to 60 mile an hour. When you're going about 60, oil pressure's way up on high. Kickdown works great. Shifts to 4,000 RPM and back down. I said it kind of the other day when me and Dalton were driving it. This thing drives just like it would in 1966. I mean, everything just shifts perfectly. Um, not a souped up car, just a, just a straight, honest Mustang fastback. Yeah. Except for the brakes might be a little better better now than they were in 66 with them wheel woods, but uh, just a top notch car. They put up a little speed trap for us here on our lap. I like to think it just tells us if our speedometer's accurate or not. That's true. That does help. That just feels good to have another fastback back in the inventory. They, I don't they know usually, how long it's be. they literally last usually like a, a week or two tops. Yeah. So we'll see how long this one lasts. But great color combination. I mean, unfortunately, the prices you guys on these fastbacks that we have to pay and we have to charge have gone up a ton in the last couple of years. But unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about it. I mean, people love them, and uh, they're bringing good money right now. Exactly. When you can find one for sale, you know you got to pay a lot, and that goes for us too to, to get them in. Um, That's why you haven't seen any for a long time. I can't even buy any that are halfway reasonable. I know. This is the first one I've seen uh, since that we can afford to buy. Exactly. Guys, check this one out on our website, CoyoteClassics.com. Uh, don't miss your shot to, to own this beautiful fastback.